Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and I'm back at it again, uh, just with a simple shave. Um, I already got the proto lather on, just a one day of growth, putting out that little stash right there. But uh, not much to work with. But yeah, let's uh, let's, let's get it cleaned up. As for today, gonna be going with a badger brush. This is the Rudy Bay, um, called the Big Ivory. Humongous brush, actually. Um, yeah, more than half my face, but uh, comparison to my hand, almost my entire hand, um, it's, it's pretty chunky. I like it. Uh, I got it loaded up for a minute using this soap. This is Pre de Provence um, shave soap. Yeah, I believe it's from France. Uh, it smells like a clean laundry, maybe a floral laundry. Pretty strong, I would say 6 or 7 out of 10 in terms of scent strength. It lathers up easily, slightly a bit on the foamier side than compared to artisan soaps, but uh, yeah, it works well. I think it dries out my skin slightly, but not too bad compared to other commercial shape soaps. But yeah, that's it. Uh, let's get it. Lathering. Just gonna wet my face one more time. <clears throat> We're gonna be face lathering today. Let's see how that goes. Here we go. Now, I, I did load this brush for 30 seconds initially, and then I realized it didn't look like enough. So I added for 10 more, then a bit more, and then a bit more, then somehow I got to a minute. <laughs> if it was a synthetic, 20 seconds would have been enough. I think even 15 seconds would have been enough. But uh, badgers and boar brushes, these natural hairs, require considerably more soap, in my opinion, my experience. But, yeah, I don't mind it. I just accept that fact and then just load more. Alright, so looking pretty dry, so I'm gonna add some more water here. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think that should be good on the water. Just gonna mix it in well. Make sure the water is worked in. This badger is feeling very nice. Dense, soft. It's got a uh, plenty of soft gel tips. So it's feeling very nice. I just have to work a little more during the lathering process. But yeah, badgers feel nice. Definitely a unique feel compared to synthetic and boars, but uh, I think each one, <clears throat> yeah, each one has its own unique feature. I enjoy them. Enjoy all of them. All right, let's go with that. It's a nice looking lather. Should be plenty for a full three pass shave. Which I am aiming for. 
Yeah, that goes. All right. I asked for the razor and blade today. I'm going back to <coughs> one of the razors that I used last time. It's going to be the Mercor 34C paired with a Lord Platinum blade on its second use. Um, I've had a good shave with this razor, but uh, I think there are some better options. Um, just in my, in my recent experience, seems like there are some other razors that shave better, but I'm still gonna test it out and see if I can get a good close shave with this one today. All right, here we go. First pass through with the grain. Yeah, it's a... It's a good balance between blade feel and comfort. You definitely feel the blade, but it's still on the mild side. I remember Nick Shave, we use this razor quite often to test our blades. Yeah, I think this razor is uh, definitely a, a good choice for that. All right, I'll just clean up the sides really quick. It's not too efficient. It just gives for a nice, mild, clean shape. But that's what I'm going for today. All right. Yeah, plenty of residual slickness with the soap. More of that soapy slickness rather than a fatty feel. But all right, let's go for that second pass. Here we go. Just gonna skip the mustache as I won't be shaving there. It looks like there's plenty of lather. This definitely reminds you of a laundry clean floral scent. Yeah, I was put off by it at first, but it's not too bad. It's not it's not offensive. It might be a bit on the stronger side, so some people might not like it. But uh yeah, it's alright. Here we go. Go for that. Second pass, cross the grain. And I'm not gonna I'm gonna do both directions this time. Because if I do if I don't do the both directions, I have to do a four pass against the grain. Or against the grain on the fourth pass. And I'm trying not to irritate my skin. So I'm just gonna do a across the green both directions so that I could reserve the third pass for against the green. It's gonna go this way and then the other way on residual slickness. Water there. Yeah, not bad. And on the chin. Just gonna go for that double chin pass right away. Is 
definitely a comfortable shaver. If you're not super worried about a close shape, just want a clean, comfortable shaver. And this one really can be this. <laughs> it is um, made of Zamac. So if you drop it, there's a high chance that it's gonna be damaged. But it comes at like 30, 40 bucks. So that's another pro. All right, so it's pretty clean right now. I'm just gonna clean it up a bit more, going against the grain. Yep, I can feel some of the stuff up there. So, it's gonna go against the grain on the chin and the neck. Just a thin layer of lather. And let's see how this Razor and blade performs against the grain. This is the true test for me because a lot of razors and blade don't do well against the grain. But uh, let's see how it goes. Not bad. This is my trouble spot right here. That jawline, that chin line. Usually a lot of stubbles left there. All right, I'm just gonna skin stretch slightly on the chin. Definitely not the smoothest I've felt, but I think it's more of that, more of the blade and the razor. I think if I used some of my more preferred blade, I think I'll get a smoother shave. I'm just gonna do a quick one more touch up on the chin. I think we should be good just to make sure a clean shave. Bad. Blade is tugging slightly, so probably not gonna go for another against the grain shave with the blade. Yeah, I think I'm going to toss it out after this shit. But huh. slide. Yeah, not bad. Not the most efficient, I would say, but I got a pretty comfortable against the green shape out of it, so not too bad. Not too bad. Just 
clean up the side. Yeah, and once I rinsed off the leather, skin is feeling slightly dry, so... But not too bad. Alright, let me rinse up and finish up with the alum block. <clears throat> Over here in the west coast, the weather is cooling down considerably. Feeling a little chilly in the morning, a little chilly at night, but in the afternoon, it's still like a 70, 80s around there. Alright, let's see how the alum tells me. Huh, not too bad. A lot less thin than yesterday's shape, which I did with the, the tape open comb slant. That one is more efficient, but it does have more blade gap, more blade exposure, and more blade feel. So considering that, I got a great shape out of the 34C. Alright, not bad. I enjoyed that a lot. I think I will be keeping the 34C, trying out maybe some other blades with it. I was thinking of maybe passing it on because my previous shave with it, it was, uh, it was okay, but I just wanted a bit more efficient option. But I think uh, if I just hone down the, my technique and match a good blade with it, I think uh, it'll do a good job. So yeah, it's gonna be staying in my rotation, in my, <laughs> I don't know how many razors that I have, probably more than 20 for sure. With that said, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I enjoyed a good shave today. Hope you guys are having a good day or night, wherever you are. This is Tim Shapes, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. See ya.